Ofo's report on enhancing access, transition, relevance, equity, and quality. So when I looked at this theme, the conference, uh, the theme of this conference in which we are, I realized that it's pulled together the important actors that are critical in the enhancement of educational access. Access to schooling, of course education is wide. Access, the actors that working together are gonna enhance the relevance because when we look at the labor market, we look at the industry, unless the education process and what happens in schools and educational institutions, unless it's relevant to the workplace, to the labor market, to industry, then young people would just be spending time in school and eventually move and live a life of hopelessness. So when I looked at that theme, I was very happy that the presenters until all those interested parties, stakeholders who believe that education should be relevant, it should be accessed to everyone has a right, but it must be made relevant. Young people must get the right skills, make them fit for purpose so that our nation can use that human resource in its breadth and its scope to meet its vision that is very well stipulated in our vision um, 2030. My understanding also of this theme is that all those actors that are going to speak in this conference for those three days are actors that have taken responsibility that they are relevant to what happens in educational institutions and therefore educational institutions must keep themselves open in those partnerships so that they can have a dialogue that brings every responsible relevant actor on board they read from one page so that they can jointly take that um, uh, responsibility so in this conference I am very happy to say that in, t in relation to the State Department for Implementation of Curriculum Reforms, it is very, very uh, relevant in that the State Department has been given functions that address the systemic nature of education. That's why we talk about education systems. Within an education system, you have all these State Departments like the one that Mr. Cheriot leads, the one I'm leading. We have one for early learning and basic education. We have uh, vocational training and education. And we have the sagas like Semaster. We have Kenya Education Management Institute because education leadership is also important. It's part of that system. We have independent commissions like the Teacher Service Commission, which uh, deals with teacher um, capacity. We have Kenya National Examinations Council. We need to know that the assessments being done are valid and they can be validated. We also have other actors that ensure that transition are happening in a systemic way. We have heard about, um, about uh, the university transition. And I believe that's why the university is here. When you look at the entire system, you will realize that transitions are several at various levels. We begin from early childhood. <coughs> Children transit from early childhood into the primary subsector to the secondary subsector. Now we have junior secondary, we have senior secondary, into tertiaries and into the university. And the university produces a labor force to move into various sectors, one of them being education. They can go back into the education uh, sector, go back to other uh, development sectors. So it's really key that we appreciate this systemic uh, uh, dimension of the sector of education and how it, related, it relates to other sectors in development and to its other department within uh, the sector. And therefore, my hope for the outcomes of this conference is that these deliberations 
will help us to pull together in synergy from wherever we are working so that education outcomes can get their meaning. We do not want to see any more education outcomes that are translated into failure and hopelessness of Kenyans. That is not the aspiration of the education reforms that are already taking place. We will be, personally, I'll be expecting to see a pulling together towards outcomes that are relevant to labor markets, the industry, the workplace, and above all, in the development of human capital, the well-being of human beings, so that when we talk about uh, the well-being of Kenyans, it's not just the work they do and the salary, but the general well-being that comes out from education. And that is why in the functions given to the state departments, I'll tell you there are 12, but one of them is about partnership, and I believe that's why, um, why we are here. That's why under those uh, 12 functions, we have been mandated to oversee, monitor, coordinate implementation of curriculum reforms. Usually there is some confusion in some quarters that, there is, that we are supposed to do curriculum development. I think that's one thing I always try to clarify. We have an agency, Kenya uh, Institute for Curriculum Development. They have a job to do. We have the Kenya National Examinations Council. They have a job to do, and they'll continue doing the, their jobs and others that are there. However, that is Professor Fatuma Shege, the PS State Department for Post Training and Skills Development. There, uh, of course, she is officiating the conference on curriculum and job markets. Of course, uh, that will be. I uh, will be making basis for what we'll be discussing in the second hour, trying to ensure that uh, what somebody is going for the tertiary education so that you may be able to be equipped with the skills necessary to be in the job market. And, uh, of course, Farah Yusuf is on standby and uh, actually following up on that conference, giving us more on that.